Hey, me, Grandpa. Like what you see? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe then. Please touch my furs. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Card Crawl Adventure. This is a free demo. You can find it on Steam right now. It's sort of a deck building, uh, seemingly simple, but then suddenly complex board game, maybe? It's the best way I can describe it. We're just going to pick a playable character here that has a certain deck. It's, at first, I thought like, oh, this is nice because it's not overly complicated, but then it suddenly felt really complicated the more I played. It's like, oh, wow, there's like a lot to figure out here, honestly. But it's it's really interesting. It's a free demo. I hate the name of the game, can I be honest? I feel like it's so uninspired. Card crawl adventure, you know? Uh, I'm going to read some of these. So we have some tasks we can try to work with here but we won't focus on that because i have to explain the game for you here but again try out the demo bonus increased by one each time you defeat a boss in this reset when you win i'm just trying to read this to see if i need to think about that but i don't think so all right let's get into a run so we're meant to go through multiple taverns and construct the deck very slowly as we go improve our deck improve our equipment and things like that. It says it's my first adventure, but it's it's not, actually. But I did die on the first one. Because I started playing, like, kind of haphazardly. Because it felt like it was almost too easy. Like, I feel like... It felt like I'm really bad at this game, but for some reason I'm not losing. And I didn't understand why. I'll try to turn up the music and stuff. I'll touch there for you. Alrighty. So defeat the tavern boss. And select all cards in one turn. So let me try my best to explain it. So you can see on the background of these cards here, these are the different patterns you can go. So you have to select a path. You select a card to start with, and then you select a path to go down. And you want to attack the enemies. Essentially, enemies are anything with health here, as you can see with the heart indicator. This uh, symbol here is how much strength it takes to attack them, I believe. Uh, it's not really how much health I will lose, necessarily. Whereas this enemy, for instance, uh, if I attack it, it will deal one damage to me. Do I need to move my head? I think we're okay. I am blocking the character, though. Um, and then you got special effects like bleed here. If I hold down the card, it'll explain it. Bleed deals one damage at the end of the turn. Uh, obstacles, I think is what that symbol means. Can't get bleed. Deal with bleed to all already selected monsters. That's what that symbol means. And this is a pretty straightforward heal. We got our health here. We got our strength here. So what the heck am I talking about? Um, so deal one damage to all. That's what this means basically at the start of it. It costs nothing to play this, by the way. You, it would indicate that. But if I want to select this card now, it would cost me a strength because that's what that costs. But I don't actually need to attack it because it's already dead. If I go this way, it does not kill the enemy, though. My god, those sound effects are loud, aren't they? Hold on. I thought there was a way for me to do this. Hold on, hold on. Turn that down a little bit. <laughs> it's so much louder than the music. Okay. Um, I don't think I actually need to attack these because I think they're all... No, it's telling me they're going to be dead if I select them, I think, is more the idea. Yeah, that's correct. So this enemy has, on revenge, deals frozen to a card. Frozen, a card with Frozen cannot be discarded after being selected. The Frozen card wears off. The Frozen wears off, I should say. Okay, so what we can do... Hmm. If I hit you... I guess since I'm killing it, I don't take the one damage from it. Because it kind of tells you. And you can stop and play in your turn all you want. This card's now Frozen. So we can just select it without actually utilizing it. And that'll wear off the Frozen there. I'm going to get five strength back. And managing your strength is actually part of the difficult part, no doubt. I will take one damage from that. Then we apply bleed to everything. Now, does that kill? Does a bleed help me kill anything? I don't know. So you discard everything you've selected there. But the goal is to kill monsters so that you can... Uh, get the boss token. It's like there's a... Oh, you can see it over here. I have to kill three monsters to summon the boss. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> this is a tough one to explain. Deal one damage and bleed 
to the next enemy. If these enemies live, hmm. Cost two strength to use this. Connect with the key fragment to assemble a key. So it's costly. We'll kill that. Grab that. I feel like there's no point in hitting that because it'll just endure and gain another health. Those are the guys that wound up getting me murdered, really. Because they kept, like, bouncing off each other and I couldn't get them killed. Alright, since we're shuffling the deck, we get to add a temporary card to the deck or just replenish our health. So this is a new card we can add to the deck for the next shuffle. Uh, block all monsters. The next attack deals double. Let's do the next attack deals double. Maybe for the boss. So if you don't select a card, it just stays on the board. So you can wind up in a situation where you can't <clears throat> actually, you know, get rid of the things on the board potentially. Only potentially. So this would not kill it. But if I... I'm applying bleed to it because of a piece of equipment we have. Hmm, I can gain that strength back. So what happens if I do that? I wonder. So we open up this chest, so we get to add a card here now. Hmm. These get pretty elaborate. Endure. Gain one gold for each monster defeated. What does endure mean again? It tr triggers the ability when the turn ends. Oh, so no matter when you choose it. It's only for that particular turn. But maybe we could try to make that work or something. I don't know. We'll see. It's just a way to earn some gold, and you'll see what gold's for later. Choose a card to add to our deck. So we got that special card that lets us add something to the deck. Deal one damage. Deal one damage to non-adjacent enemies. Huh. Block the attack. Eh. Or just deal two for one strength. I think this is best. It doesn't even cost strength. So I think that's good. If we run out of strength and we need to use strength, it costs health instead. So that's how you end up dying, really. Okay, so the enemies don't do anything unless they say it. So this enemy is not going to attack me because it's still on the board. Uh, instead, it applies lightning to a card. It's really just about managing your stamina and utilizing it to killing the en to kill the enemies. Shock. Uh, a card with shock has its ability disabled, wears off at the start of the next turn. So you, if something gets shocked, you just don't want to use it that turn because it won't do anything. Alrighty, the next attack deals a double. Okay, so we can use that. Then that. And you can go diagonal here, by the way. You can probably just end the turn there. We killed two monsters. This thing is shocked, so I can't use it, unfortunately. That got killed by, I think, of a piece of equipment or something. The boss has now been added to the deck. As I'm talking, I feel like I'm only making it more complicated here, really. Gets played at the end of the turn. So there's the boss. So on rest, it gains two health. Rest triggers the ability when the card is not selected at the end of the turn. So if I leave it alone for a turn, it will gain two health. So you don't really want to do that. The boss does not hurt me, as you can see. It simply costs one strength to hit. I believe. <laughs> I believe. Um, hmm. It's costing me a lot of strength here. That deals one damage to me, but that's okay. We can use this to apply bleed to the mall. I guess I'll play the heal here too. I'm not really killing anything, so. Hmm. So the bleed doesn't really work unless... Because you discard... Usually discard the cards that you select. Yeah... Remove strength of all cards this turn. Or just replenish my strength? Let's just replenish it. That came at a pretty decent time, I'd say. We have a heal. This thing has bleed. So I want to make sure I select this card at the least. And do this to apply more bleed to everything. If I understand correctly. Bleed is like a dot, so it takes one. Deal one. Deal one. Deal one. And it's dead. Okay, but that's not the end end. So I guess we want to do that. 
For each enemy with bleed, gain one strength. Okay, so let's do something like this. This is not quite the end, but it is essentially... Well, actually, this is when I died one, uh, previously, but we got a lot more to go. Okay, so now we killed the boss and the tavern keeper comes out or something? I don't know. Uh, so since we're shuffling again, we get to pick another thing here, but we don't need more bonfires, so we'll just take the gold. And again, you'll see what that's for later. So in the third shuffle is when the exit spawns, I believe is how this works. Um, so deal one to all. Hmm, so deal one to all. Is this how this works? I don't know. It's not to like, this one says deal one damage to the next enemy. We can just kill them all, really. See no reason not to. I'm just getting the frozen off of that. I don't know how much we really need it. Okay. Deal one damage. Hit you. Reach card with bleed, gain a strength, whatever. I think we can cross here, yeah. No point in attacking these other enemies as far as I can tell. All right, and there's the exit. We win. I I can pay a gold. Let's see. Rest triggers ability when the card is not selected. Deals the air increases by one. So if you don't pay, I'll take a damage, basically. And I'm going to assume that carries over. But... I don't know. So I can pay a gold to not take zero damage oh but now oh you'll see it again so the the tavern keeper wants you to pay him at the end of the run that's what it is that's what it is oh i failed the quest oh dang i really needed that money too because now i only have two g's all right we can add a new equipment so that's over here it won't let me show you what those are we can add a tavern charm or we can improve one of our sp character specific cards let's do a charm which is essentially just equipment i think so here's what we have already. Increase your health and strength by two. In this other one, deal bleed to the first enemy you attack each turn. So we got the charm of favor, 50% chance to add one attack, utility, or something card after each shuffle. 50% chance to kill one enemy and lose one strength at the start of the turn. That sounds pretty good. When you deal fire damage to an enemy with fire, 50% <laughs> chance to double the fire. Fire is like another dot too, I believe. Kind of like Charm of Death, so at the start of the turn, there's a 50% chance I will simply kill an enemy. It will take up a strength, but it's probably worth it, right? So we'll add that to that. We're broke, so we can only affect, we can only do one thing here, really. Or I could skip it. Remove a card from your deck and add one of three random neutral cards. Uh... Let's see. Well, let me look at my deck exactly here. I'm not so certain. We do not have a lot in our deck. I think we'll skip for now. All right. Discover two new taverns. After that, you can decide which one you want to visit. I don't think it really matters which one here. Just discover some, I suppose. We'll go to the cheaper one here, too. All right. I might not do a whole run because it's kind of long. Especially for a noob like me. But we'll do at least one more tab in here, I figure. Alright, we got the bat boss. Oh no, I didn't look at the quest. Crud. I know I would, they want me to kill five enemies before the boss spawns, but... For each enemy with bleed, gain one strength. Hmm. Getting these two on the board right away was kind of bad since our strength is obviously at max to start. Revenge gains one health. So if I don't kill it on the attack, it's bad. That thing's immune to lightning, but that's okay. I don't have any. So you can see that uh, that if I select this enemy, it deals one and I lose a strength. You can kind of just look at it, you know. Revenge deals frost to one card. I don't think that counts, but it does cost a strength to simply select it, you know. So it's not inherently bad to simply select an enemy, besides the fact that it cost me strength. So I could select a bunch of enemies here and then apply bleed to them. 
kind of hard to do though. Hmm. So if I apply bleed, it's not going to get the health back. Hmm. Reach enemy with bleed, gain one strength. So we can get all that back and yeah, I think that's fine. Maybe I should have selected that at the end. I'm not sure. It does discard them at the end of the turn. So I'm not 100% certain what the point of that bleed is then at that point. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> so this does nothing since it's electrified, but you can reset the path and see if you want to do it a different way. It still selects the same card, but that's okay. I don't think we want to... There's no point in playing this, really. And we'll wait for that to... For the Electrify to wear off. We only got to kill one more summon of the boss. I think we're good with just getting an extra gold here. Hmm. I think if you're too slow, you lose, essentially. So now this enemy got reshuffled, but it still has bleed. If I leave it be, then it will take the damage. Deals one at the end of the turn. Okay. Interesting how that works. Hmm. Okay, so I can kill you, but then I lose this and the bleed. Seemingly. So, so select this chest from the left to start to unlock it. Okay, why don't we do that? Don't need to heal, but I'll take that too. We killed our one enemy to put the boss back in. That's what the tooth is about. All right, all right. We got a random kill there. That's nice. There's a boss. Awake. Deals one damage to monsters and gains its health. Oh. That's alarming. Okay. When it's awake? Wait, what does awake mean again? Let me let me read that again. Triggers ability when the when the turn starts. Oh, Kidoki. How do you handle this then? Deal 1. Let's kill that. Let's do this. This is now frozen, but that's okay. Hit that up. Leave the apple, I think. I get to add a new card to the deck because of this. Arrows deal double damage. Cost one strength to use. Deal one damage and bleed. Deal zero fire. Increase fire by one for each scroll in my deck. Two. Mm, maybe the arrow one, since we're kind of... We have one arrow card. I know that seems like nothing, but maybe we can kind of work that toward that and get some synergies going. I was able to do that in my first little attempt in the game, and it worked really well. Gain five. You think we can do without it? I'm going to hope that we can do without it and take the gold. I'm going to hope. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Hmm. That's electrified, so I can't even do anything with it anyway. So if I leave anything alive. So that's gonna electrify that. Get back two strength for that. By selecting it, nothing happens, but I can do that. Discard. If this enemy gets discarded, which means if I select it... Hmm. It's immune to electricity. It'll deal one. Maybe I'm okay with taking one, though. That way I can make it bleed, I guess? Hope that makes sense. The boss doesn't seem to be doing what I guessed. Deals one damage to monsters. To one monster, I think. And gains its health. Yeah, I'm a little confused by that. Dun, 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 dun. 
Hmm. Kind of want to do that. Deal one damage, deal one damage to non-adjacent monsters, too. I kind of want to try to do this lock. Oh, great. Now it's frozen. It's, it acts like it works, though. So I guess I'll deal three to that still. It's something. I kind of want to try to open the treasure chest. No, it didn't work because it was frozen still. Okay. I'm very low on strength. Why don't we add this to the deck then? Three health, three strength. I'm a little slow here, honestly. Okay, good. Arrows deal double. Well, I don't have any arrows. So I guess that just sits there for a while. Okay, I still can't kill you, huh? We'll make you bleed, I guess. I'm not down a lot of health here. Okay, they're taking damage from the bleed. There's an arrow, too. That's nice. So we'll play this, into this, into this, into this, into killing that. Equals good? That seems to work out. It kind of lied about dealing damage to non-adjacent units, though it felt. I guess I, that that's an aspect I don't totally understand. Should I pay the fee? No, I don't have to. Do I? I'll take one damage. I refuse to pay your fee, Tavern Keep. Never have less than two health. Oh, we completed a quest too. Very good. All right, we have a good amount of gold now, huh? I didn't collect the treasure, though. It was too slow. I could probably expend more strength slash health and manage that better. Uh, let me show you... I mean, equipment is very similar to the charms. It basically is that. It holds the same inventory space and everything. I guess they have... They tend to do different things. It's the only difference. So let me show you a character card that we can improve instead. Uh, come on. Oh, I guess this is everything. Oh, so cards I added myself don't do not do anything. Oh, okay, so this... Oh, okay. Select a card to upgrade, and it's only three. For each enemy with bleed, gain one strength and health. Eh. Cost one strength. Strike. Deal bleed to all enemies. Deal two damage. Deal one bleed to the next monster. Apply bleed to all, maybe? What do you think? Increase my max strength by two. Improve one of your character cards. Add a new equipment. It's weird that this is the most expensive because I'm I feel like it's the equipment that actually ends up carrying you very often. What do you got? Dumb damage dealt to obstacles is doubled. Yeah, I don't know about that. Lightning of the first card you select each turn is removed and dealt to a monster. <laughs> the first card you select has its strength reduced by one for this turn. Okay. That's more straightforward. I think we can agree. So the we want to make sure whatever card we choose first is the one that costs strength, I guess, if we can. All right, unlock a new tavern. Uno mas, why not? We'll see the cold countess here. Quest, select at least two bonfire cards throughout the tavern. Okay. Discard a random card at the start of your turn is a house rule. Oh. I wonder how that works exactly. There it goes. Okay. Doesn't mean that it kills... Oh, let's wait. That was the kill? I don't know. From Charm of Death. Arrows deal double. Let's kill you. Bleed to all. Wait a minute. Oh, that does cost a strength, so we can use that for the blacksmith hammer. I don't really get the deal to damage to non-adjacent enemies. I guess. And I can kill that too. Sure, why not? Kill everything. Reset the board, baby. You got three kills in turn one. Four kills, even. Okay, select four cards to open the lock. Okay, and they want me to do some bonfires here. Probably just gain strength, right? 
keep that up, I'm gonna say. Oh wait, hold, hold on, I just realized the recording might have been weird. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I had, I had subscriptions still turned on from Twitch, so if someone subscribed randomly right now, you'd see it. <laughs> I'll be honest, there's been exactly one time I was trying to record a video for YouTube, but I hit start streaming instead without realizing it. It only lasted like 10 minutes. But there were some people that were very confused. It was a long time ago. Uh, select last. What does that mean, last? Trigger's ability when the card is selected last. Select four cards to open the lock. Okay. So we can probably do this, this. Nothing's bleeding. But it's probably too hard. Endure deals one damage. Hmm. We can crack that open. Then I'd only deal one to everything else. Okay. Let's just go... Let's just do this. That worked, right? It apparently did not work. It didn't seem like it worked. Arrows deal double. Gain five strength. What does strike mean exactly? Triggers ability instantly without selecting a target first. So everything just gets bleed. Okay. And now I have essentially nothing to do. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to discard this card though. Because on take damage... A monster gains two health? Is that what I understand? I don't know, actually. Hmm. There's not much I can do this turn. Let's find out. What if I just play this card? No, no, no. Oh, can I not play just the one? Hmm. I guess I'll get this card out of here. It did apply the bleed, it looks. It did deal some damage, it also looks. Alright, the boss has been kind of summoned and played. Alright, heal five. Now let's just do the strength here again. Select these two bonfire cards. Okay, so that's done. Okay. Wait, deals frozen to a card. Endure, discard all cards with frozen. So awake triggers the ability when the turn starts. Triggers the ability when the card gets discarded. Oh wait, no, discard. No, what's in dark? Triggers the ability when the turn ends. Okay. So we can get that. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Hit this for four. If I do that first, we only deal one to that. Then I can kill this after it looks. Don't need to heal with that. But is it worth just coming back up here to kill that, maybe? I hope so. Just get rid of a lot of the cards here. Keep rolling through the deck, you know? Alright, add a card to the deck. Deal zero damage after selecting a spell. Increase the damage of this by that spell's strength. I've used this card before. It sounds confusing, but it's not too bad. Attacks deal double damage that cost three strength. Deal zero damage, increase strength by two after selecting a scroll. This has health? It's like a companion, I think is the idea. I'm kind of confused by that one. I'm kind of confused by the com uh, what I can only assume is a companion. Attack card steal double. For three? Maybe we can upgrade it or something here, you know? Maybe it'll cost less. I can make it cost less if I select it first, which I guess would make sense often, anyway. Okay. And there, no way I'm getting this open. Select four... Select cards four to open lock one of three. Last. 
Triggers ability when this card is selected last. I swear I've done it. <laughs> Reach enemy with bleed. Gain strength. Might just do this for this turn. Apply bleed to all. Gain a bunch of strength. Seems like a decent choice. That card gets discarded because it was frozen because of the boss. That got discarded for reasons. We killed the boss. I'm going to assume it was the charm because otherwise I don't know. <laughs> but I guess refresh our strength. All right. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. Still kill this. That's fine. There's no way I can do this, right? Well, now it's electrified. There's a, I still have a lot of questions. Like, I tried really hard to understand all the different mechanics, but it's, it's quite complicated, I gotta say. Is my strength gonna carry over? So if I do this... That's my only other question. Is my weak strength gonna carry over? I mean, we have this bonfire here, I guess, so... Maybe I don't want to play the bonfire. Actually, I just play this. Try to pay the gold so I don't take the dam. Heck no, absolutely not. Under any circumstances would I ever pay them. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, three down. Failed to collect the tavern treasure yet, but we did the quest and we beat the boss. So I've not died. It looks like it's kind of hard to mess it up, but if you mismanage your strength, it can happen. It looks like it takes a little while, though. I really wanted to see. All oh, right, I can't. Oh, you can actually keep powering up the same cards. Can I go back? I kind of don't want to do this. <laughs> and heal. Hmm. It's possible I could be using more strength. I could be using strength better. Deal two damage and bleed to all. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Even for two strength. Two damage and bleed to all. Add a new piece of equipment I like. Transform a card from your deck into a random higher tier of the same type. I'd rather just get equipment. The equipment is kind of fun. Crossbow. Deal two damage to a random enemy at the start of the turn. Deal one damage to the first enemy you select each turn. Damage dealt to junk is, gar is doubled. I think I like this one. It could do the crossbow, but I don't like the randomized nature of it. And so a lot of enemies will have, like, when you hit them, it increases the health of another enemy, that kind of situation. All right, we're probably only about half-ish way through it. Uh, about here. Yeah, we completed three out of four, almost halfway through. But I think I'm going to call it there and just see what you guys think. Well, you know, uh, so honest opinions about it. It's pretty nice. I think there's some... Uh, I mean, for a demo, it's actually great, I'd say, overall. I think the, the complexity, I, I don't know if it's like the wordings or the trans, maybe there's a translation involved, but I do think there's a lot of confusion and obtuseness to the explanations. I did the tutorial and everything. Unfortunately, it did crash during the tutorial at one point. I had to restart it. Um, but it starts to make sense the more you roll with it. And I think it's pretty nice and... I mean, for a free demo, I can't complain. How much would I pay for this game when it comes out? Hard to say. Uh, there's multiple selectable characters at the start. I don't know how many there will be when it comes out. It says it's slated for March of next year. But yeah, I think it's okay. Not bad. Not a bad game, especially for something that I got to play for free for a little while. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and you check it out in the next video. All right, bye everyone.